Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 65, ooh, I got pristine, of Darwell20's Let's Play series. Boop, boop, boop. Excellent. Uh, where today I plan to uh, continue along the path of making pedestals uh, for the infusion process of Elemental Craft. So we've been playing with Elemental Craft a bunch the last two episodes. Super fun mod so far. Really enjoying kind of figuring out how all the crafting works, figuring out how the resource creation works. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, you find these four different types of nodes throughout the world, and then you uh, also have some ores that you can find. And once you've got those, you can combine them in neat and interesting ways to make cool and different resources. Super good so far. I'm really, really quite enjoying it. Um, so what I'm working towards today is the Pure Infuser, uh, specifically because the Pure Infuser is going to allow me to make, um, a bunch of cool stuff, uh, specifically either a Pure Element Holder or in this case, or no, that's actually not right, uh, Pure Rock, Pure Element Holder, or Pure Crystal. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. Um, and Pure Crystal is what I'm currently after. Uh, because that's going to allow me to make uh, a bunch of cool things. Specifically, it looks like around shrines, which looks neat. Uh, but the ore purifier is one. What was the main reason I was making this? I wanted the improved element extractor. That's right. We want pure crystals for um, the improved element extractor. So that's what we're working for. Uh, so in order to get this, we need the infuser. But then we need to surround the infuser. Uh, let's see. Instruments. Where is it? Is it near somewhere? Or no, wait, maybe it's under crafting? Where was it? It's in here somewhere. Advanced? Pure infuser, there it is. Yeah! Uh, and then we're gonna need the pedestals around it. So, do you think that it matters how far away are they are? Uh, so let's set this up first. So I'm gonna set you up like here-ish. Does that sound cool? So we've got our pure infuser, right? And that goes in the middle. And then we need element pedestals, earth, air, uh, water, and fire, not necessarily in that order. Now the problem is uh, that we need to craft those using these. So let's look at these different pedestals and get ready to make them all. That's what we're gonna work on right now-ish. Cool. Uh, so to get the air pedestal, for example, we're gonna need either a fine or a pristine air gem, which I've got from last episode, go check that out if you haven't yet. Element Infuser, and this needs to be an element binding. So we don't need the gem crystallizer anymore. We wanna switch you back to the element binder. Okay. Um, and then we need an element infuser, and I'm assuming all of them need that. And they all need a swift alloy, and they all need a couple white rocks. Easy peasy. So a pair of white rocks after okay so then we're going to want infuser times four okay so that's done deal uh we're gonna want the 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 gem so in this case we're gonna go with let's start with water does that sound cool boop and boop i'll let you both insert into these guys or get ready for inserting for that matter Right, so you should be filling up with water now. So then you get an element infuser, one of these. I hope I have at least four of these swift alloys. I do. Oh, and you're extracting still. Let's make you require a redstone signal as well. Okay, and then two of these. I see particles. That's always a good sign. That's a super good sign. Healthy amount of particles too. I'm starting to wonder how many <laughs> or how much of this water we're gonna need. Uh, let's see, it was water pedestal. It does say a high amount of water. To be fair, it does say a high amount of water. Water was over here, right? Yes. Oh my. Really, we don't have that much water? You know, we did make a lot of water crystals, to be fair. We did make a lot of water crystals, to be fair. Did we get enough or no? 
I'm going to say no. I mean, it's still draining. Because there's still a little bit of water in there. So what I could do. What are you, an element evaporator? Okay, yeah. Oh, never mind. It's good. It's good. We got it. We got the water pedestal. Nice. Now, where does that go? Is that here? Water pedestal? I think so. Cool. All right. So just barely enough, but enough nonetheless. So you start kicking over in that direction. And let's do uh, air next. Does that sound cool? So for that, we're going to want... that earth pedestal again. Air pedestal will be this dude with you and you and two of you. Cool? Okay. That works. Now whether or not that'll be enough air remains to be seen, but we'll find out. So I'm gonna repeat this a couple times. And uh, once we have all the pedestals, we'll come back and check out Infusion. Does that sound cool? All right, be right back. All right, if my math is correct, which I think it is, because it's only up to four, I've got all four of these. Uh, so fire goes here and earth goes there. Sweet. All right, cool. Now let's recharge some of these bad boys. Does that sound cool? So what I'm thinking I would do, hey, where did you go? You couldn't be empty, could you? Oh, right, because I didn't put you back, did I? No, I did not. So you drain that back in there. Now, can I, can I, can I do this? That was definitely faster, right? I feel like that was 100% faster. All right, so if we did Earth. Now, you're, are you empty, element container? You are, all right. So Earth, water. So what if we put a one of these dudes set to this to fill up my water guy. That could be cool. And then the same for fire. Just so we're ready, you know, for stuff. And then the same for earth and air. Because I want these to be full before I do my first infusion, primarily. Cool. So you're gonna fill up. I hit the thing here, right? I did not, but you are filling up now. You're filling up. And you should be filling up. So now I'm gonna have full infusions, right? Um, in theory. And hopefully we'll get faster production of these things going forward now. So once this guy's full, which he is, that's cool. Then he will refill himself. Beautiful. And this guy, I presume, is full now. Nice. Water's almost full. Almost full. I'll call that full. And then Earth, definitely full. Nice. Okay. So then you are the earth pedestal. Right? And you're the water pedestal. Because if I remember from the book, you want to feed them their elements. And then this is the air pedestal. Right? Cool. So let's figure this out, right? Um, pedestals to channel four elements into a sand. To operate, it needs to be circled with each of the four pedestals, each being provided with the correct element using improved pipes. Once the setup is done, you can start crafting by putting the correct ingredient on each pedestal and the main one on the pure infuser. Okay, so we should be good to go here? I think so. So we're gonna need fire, water, earth, and air crystals and a diamond in the middle, right? So there's earth, fire, water, and air crystals.
I don't want to be voiding too much. I don't know how many of these crystals we're going to need, so I think... I think we're full, right? Alright, so I've got a stack of each crystal, right? So now I... I presumably put the fire on the fire, right? The earth on the earth. Your water? Okay, but you look green. Isn't crazy? Does he look green? And then a diamond in the middle? Oh, hello. Now we're cooking. And this pure should use a pretty high amount of each. Look at it go. That's cool. My goodness, it wasn't kidding when it said a high amount of each. I think it used more than half, which is a little bit of a problem, but not a crisis. Used a lot more than half so far. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now we're cool. Awesome. Awesome. New chapters unlocked. What do we get? Ooh, empty source receptacle. That's cool. So I want to call out two things that I noticed or, or read about in between, right? So the ordered sorter. Remember how we had to put items in a certain order? There's an item for that in this mod. Uh, and then instrument output retriever. Uh, looks like that pulls items out of the instruments. So that's cool. Empty source receptacles are powerful tools that allow you to move source. You can pick up and place back source into the world using right click. You can repair improved receptacles using the fire right. Interesting. Ooh, fire right ingots. New type of ingot. Pure rock is an extremely strong stone that is able to resist some of the most powerful blasts, even from a wither. The grimoire allows you to store spells. You can right click it to open its inventory. Sweet. Okay, we're going to have to try out all of these things for sure. Fire Blast Furnace is the Blast Furnace variant of the Fire Furnace. As for any other instruments, the Fire Blast Furnace needs to be on top of a container, and it consumes fire. Sweet. Well, let's continue what we were working towards, which is the Improved Element Extractor, which we should be able to get now, right? And I'm curious just how improved this is. So to me, I think water is the one that we have the least currently of. So like, yeah, we're not great on water. So how much faster are you going to be if I do that? I mean, I got to imagine it's better in some regard, right? It looks good. It's not going to be like zoop. Like it's not going to be crazy because obviously this element container is pretty decent sized, but not too shabby. Yeah, I would say that's definitely faster. And I would like to think about transporting this stuff longer distances. Um, is there anything about that in the book yet? I haven't seen anything yet that in implies that, except for maybe this thing that allow you to move source. So like, so like these things, is that what I can do? Oh. Oh. So what's the difference between an improved source receptacle and an empty source receptacle? I bet the so I bet these can be repaired, but these are probably one time use. That's interesting. I mean they require pure crystals, which means they're probably pretty expensive. But that's neat that you can pick up and move them. That's super cool. All right, that's one option. That's one option. Okay, we'll consider that. But uh, note that we used almost an entire tank for this craft, right? So let's do this. Let's clean up inventory just a smidge. And let's get ready to, I don't think I need this evaporator no more. I don't think I need the glass no more. But I'm going to recharge all these guys and get each of my nodes operating on the faster speed. So how are you coming along? Oh, yeah, no, that's definitely faster. Look, that's only, like that's a third of progress. That's pretty good. I'm going to call that very good, actually. Oh, 
I'm wondering if there's like a clever way that we can automate this. And I'm thinking there should be, right? There should be a clever way to automate this. Let me think about it for a sec. You know, call me crazy, but I think my water source ran out. Is that possible? Is that a thing that happens? There's definitely something there still, but it's... It's like the particle effects are there still, but like the node isn't anymore. Is that a thing? Is that something that happens? See, like the big ball ain't there no more. The particle effects that were around it maybe are, but the big ball itself is gone. Is that a thing that happened? Is that possible? I don't even know. These are these are things that we're learning today about this mod. We don't know things. Huh. Maybe the improved has a chance to weaken it or something? Doesn't say anything about that. But I definitely feel like we stopped accumulating water here. Interesting. I mean, what we could do is just take our water and get this guy. Now I'm kind of curious if he's going to like do the same thing, right? Cool though. Yeah, interesting. Now that's something, it's back. Huh. That is absolutely something, it's back. Maybe using the improved dude like weakens it temporarily? So yeah, no, now we're getting, now we're getting water again. Huh. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this for a minute and see what happens. Cause now I'm like really interested. I mean, I guess we just keep an eye on it and see what happens, right? None of the other ones have run out yet though, that I've seen. And they all have like decent amounts of, of source. So let's just make another one and see how it goes. So you were fire, you were water, you were earth, and that would make you air. And then I'm going to get my second pure crystal guy. Now, I kind of want to move one. I guess what I should do is look at making fire, right? So how does this stuff get made? So it's an elemental binding of netherite, swift alloy, springaline shards, and pure crystals. Aha. And then I can use that to make a bunch of cool stuff. Specifically, that empty, improved source receptacle, which I assume can be reused, right? Um, so, like, these guys, I'm going to assume, can't be reused, and these guys can. Because this, if you think about it, needs four pure crystals to make this. So, hopefully, it's a multi-use. I guess we'll find out. But there's another pure crystal, which is cool. So, now what I'd like to do is, I don't know, air? You want to do air next? Sure. <gasps> air did the same thing. Look, it turned into a, into a little something missing guy. Dude, that's super interesting. That is super interesting. Right? Because this guy is full. And this guy has like a smidgen of it, but like it did the same thing. And, but it, so did, it came back at one point, the blue one did at least. Let's go check out the blue guy now. So blue guy is still cool. Now what's interesting is that happened without an improved element extractor, right? That happened without an improved element extractor. So I wonder if the elements either like weaken after a while and need to recharge themselves or what the deal is. But that's kind of interesting. We're learning stuff today, folks. And fire we're pretty good on, but air. Huh. So I wonder if I just stick around, if it'll eventually pop back into being okay. I guess we'll see.
You know what I could do? I have an idea. Boop, boop. Um, one of you. Can I place a block here? I can. Oh, did I destroy it? I may have destroyed it. That's a bummer. I didn't mean to do that. So I have to assume they're entities then, right? They have to be entities. They have to be entities. They're either entities or blocks. You only got, there's only two things you can be in Minecraft, entities or blocks. I mean, typically. But yeah, I think my air receptacle is officially dead at this point. I think I killed it. My bad. Are you empty? You are empty. Are you empty? Yeah. Cool. Let me put you guys away for a minute because we're going to experiment for a sec and that's going to take a little bit of effort. And I'm going to need my stuff back here. Put you away and you away and you away and you away. I want to do a little experimenting with Elemental Craft today and see if we can't figure out what's up. So what we're probably going to want then... Knowing that you are, in fact, an entity, I should be able to do something like you. Potentially. And then a display. What do you got for me, Chief? No entity data? No entity data. Nope, definitely not an entity then. So does that make you a block? I don't know. As block true, so it's a block, element source. There you go. Tile entity MBT, please. Give me the deets. What do you got, chief? Stabilized, zero. There's some traits on there. Exhausted, zero. Ah, exhausted's a Boolean. There's an exhausted Boolean. That's cool. Analyzed, zero. So there's an, there's an analyzed trait as well. Oh, and you can see the element amount that's stored. Sweet. Sweet. I'm a little bit curious about those traits. I bet we have to get deeper into the mod to figure those out. But there is an exhausted Boolean. I wonder, I'd, I'd really like to exhaust one now and see if, um, do we have a wrench for this guy? It's not that guy. I'd really like to exhaust one now because the exhausted came back. Right. Let's go see if any of my others have become exhausted at any point. Because I'm really curious now to see. Because I know one came back, that leads me to believe that exhausted is like a... Oh, there we go. This guy's exhausted. That'll do. All right, let's not overwrite him this time, because that was derpy. Block reader, doot. 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 And then you give me your tile entity, MBT. This is how Dyer learns. See, exhausted is one. <gasps> Element amount. Ooh, he's recharging. I guess he recharges. Ooh, there are some traits there. I gotta look at those traits a little bit more. But exhausted looks like a true. And he looks like his element is recharging. So I wonder. I don't think I can interact with him directly without placing a block there. And placing a block there would, like, you know, destroy him. So I don't want to do that. But in theory, it looks like he's recharging his element amount, which is cool. And I assume at some point, maybe when he gets to his element capacity. So let's do this.
I'm cracking into the innards of your elemental craft system. Do I have you in here? I do. So element underscore storage. See if I can remember how to pull this off. Element underscore storage. Uh, get tag. Get compound. It's probably a compound. Input type two is string. So then what we're going to want is a string of element underscore storage. This is Dyer doing advanced manipulations. And now I want to get a compound U and U. And that'll be U. Where's that doohickey variable store? Aha, capacity is 511,000 and we're at 250,000. So quick primer on what I just did there is I did an MBT compound. So what it does is it gets that inner tag that was inside there by the name of the tag. So the name of the tag was element underscore storage, right? So when we hit 511, I'm curious if he will become unexhausted or de-exhausted. Now I'm also curious about traits. Let's check out traits. Uh, string traits. Get compound. You and you give me that. Cool. Recover rate. That's how fast it recovers, I presume. The capacity. And diurnal nocturnal two, whatever that means. Interesting. So I guess it recovers 50 something per tick. That seems to jive about with what I'm seeing there. Um, so presumably when this hits 5.11, he'll be fully charged. Oh, now look at this. It didn't hit 5.11. It actually came up at 4.60. And you can see that's where it stopped. And then it flipped to exhausted zero, which means false. Zero in Boolean is false. One is true, right? Um, usually, I think that's the case. There's some languages where that's not the case. I forget. Long story short, it stopped refilling at 4.60 even though its capacity was 5 alone. I wonder if that means that each time you drain it and it becomes exhausted, it refills less next time, right? That would be an interesting mechanic. And now what we should see is he's draining the element out again. Sweet. All right, well, that's cool. All right, so that's neat. So uh, we have to find a new air element now, don't we? Yeah, we do. Looks like we've got some over here, luckily. So this is not bad. Let's take this one. Um, it looks like there's an analyzed trait. So at some point, I assume I'm going to learn how to analyze these. I don't know when that'll be. I just assume it will happen. Okay, so you should be getting that stuff. And then you're going to pipe it into here. And then you're going to pipe that into one of these guys. So let's now uh, put you all away. Sorted, cool. You and you don't need to be here no more, nor do you. Do, 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 do. That looks clean. Uh, I'm gonna make the other two um, extractors off camera because I would very much like to have four sets of improved extractors. I feel like that would behoove me, especially considering how fast 
were using this stuff uh, at this point. So having all my nodes have improved extractors feels like a good idea to me. Cool, so we'll be right back uh, in a minute once that's all about taken care of. All right, two more of these dudes down, which is cool because we now have faster consumption of fire, which is awesome. Looking good. Right, everybody's groovy here. Nice. Uh, and Earth. Those were the last two that I hadn't souped up, right? All the others are souped up. Nice. Now, I assume you're running or you're burning out a lot faster. I guess so. I guess so. I can't see exactly how fast it's going, but it definitely feels a little faster. If that's a scientific enough of an approach for you guys, it feels faster, so I don't know. So this is neat. Um, so what I'd really like to do is be able to, well, I mean, on one end I can move these pure crystals, which is cool. Uh, or, or not the pure crystals, but the nodes. So that's kind of neat. Let's see what's coming up next, um, because there's absolutely some things we should do. Um, so moving those things is cool. I don't think there's much else that we needed to do. Solar element synthesizer. So we give it a lens and some kind of prism. That thing looks toughish to make. But that thing looks like what it does is it generates it from sunlight. It makes elements probably with a lens. Uh, but the rune inscriber is something we probably want to take a look at. Because I want to see what runes are about. And probably spells. Spells was probably something I should look at too. And shrines. Shrines would be neat. So the two basics is the spell desk and the focus can hold multiple spells. So let's look at that maybe next episode. Spell desk. Focus. Grimoire are all cool, right? I think that's uh, that's ways to make multiple tiers of stuff, right? And then uh, we're also going to want to look at shrines. Interesting. And it looks like there's a bunch of these. And I assume... Ooh. Neat. I'm, I'm assuming these are kind of like rituals. So like, these are like magical things that will affect an area. There's a lot of, there's a lot of locked things here. Okay. Lots to check out more in Elemental Craft. I'm pretty, I'm pretty much really enjoying this mod so far. It is cool. It is very cool. Um, so let's wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time. Uh, check out more of Elemental Craft, because so far I'm really having a good time with it. I think it's, it's super fun. And I want to see more. I want to see, uh, I think the most of the focus has been like on progressing upwards in the mod to like get, you know, faster element production and that kind of stuff and 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 figuring out you know like what all kinds of stuff there is uh at this point though i think what we should do is plan to see more of uh what you can do with it so spells and shrines and other stuff all right for now double 20 sign off hope you guys enjoyed the episode we'll come back next time to check all that stuff out for now take it easy